Hi. Welcome to Jesus for All 2. God's Word, Your Daily Bread for October 26, 2021. Here you will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, with the goal of hearing half of the Bible by January 9, 2022. John 14, verse 15 through 17 says, If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever. Verse 17, The Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. And John fourteen twenty says, At that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Verse 21, He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Amen. And Proverbs 8, verse 33 to 35 says, Hear instruction and be wise, and do not disdain it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. For whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. Amen and amen. And hallelujah and glory to God. And Romans ten seventeen says, So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And so today we shall hear Psalm 48, Proverb 26, because it is the 26th day of the month, and there are 31 Proverbs, one for every day of the month. The Proverbs are the wisdom of God. The Old Testament reading will be from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 19, verse 1 through chapter 20, verse 18. The New Testament reading will be from 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 1 through 12. All scriptures are taken from the New King James Version of the Bible, copyright 1982 by Thomas Nelson Incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. And now, Psalm 48. This psalm is attributed to the sons of Korah, who are the musicians. And it reads, Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, in the city of our God, in his holy mountain. Beautiful in elevation, the joy of the whole earth, is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is in her palaces. He is known as her refuge. For behold, the kings assembled. They passed by together. They saw it, and so they marveled. They were troubled. They hastened away. Fear took hold of them there, and pain as of a woman in birth pangs. And when you break the ships of Tarshish with an east, as when you break the ships of Tarshish with an east wind. Verse 8. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish it forever. Selah. We have thought, O God, on your loving kindness in the midst of your temple. According to your name, O God, so is your praise to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments. Walk about Zion and go all around her. Count her towers. Mark well her bulwarks. Consider her palaces that you may tell it to the generation following. Verse 14 and last. For this is God, our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to death. Amen, amen, and amen. In Jesus' name, we have heard. And now, Proverb 26. And it reads... As snow in summer and rain in harvest, so honor is not fitting for a fool. Like a flitting sparrow, like a flying swallow, so a curse without cause 
shall not alight. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the fool's back. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, lest you also be like him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. He who sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. Let the legs of the lame that hang lip, like the legs of the lame that hang limp, is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like one who binds a stone in a sling is he who gives honor to a fool. Like a thorn that goes into the hand of a drunkard is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Verse 10, the great God who formed everything gives the fool his hire and the transgressor his wages. As a dog returns to his own vomit, so is a fool repeats his folly. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is more hope for a fool than for him. Verse 13, the lazy man says there is a lion in the wind in the road. A fierce lion is in the streets. As a door torn, turns on its hinges, so does the lazy man on his bed. The lazy man buries his hand in the bowl. It wearies him to bring it back to his mouth. The lazy man is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. Verse 17. He who passes by and meddles in a quarrel not his own is like one who takes a dog by the ears, like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows, and death, is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Where there is no wood, the fire goes out, and where there is no tail-bearer, strife ceases. As charcoal is to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. The words of a tale-bearer are like tasty trifles, and they go down into the innermost body. Fervent lips with a wicked heart are like earthware crowned with silver dross. He who hates disguises it with his lips, and lays up deceit within himself. Verse 25, when he speaks kindly, do not believe him, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness will be revealed before the assembly. Whenever, whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and he who rolls a stone will have it roll back on him. Verse 28 and last. A lying tongue hates those who are crushed by it, and a flattering mouth works ruin. And the word is already blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And now... The Old Testament reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 19, and it reads, Thus says the Lord, Go and get a potter's earthen flask, and take some of the elders of the people and some of the elders of the priest, and go out to the valley of the son of Hinnon. Hinnom, which is by the entry of the potsherd gate, and proclaim there the words which I will tell you, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, O kings of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring such a catastrophe on this place, that whoever hears it, his ears will tingle. Because they have forsaken me and made this an alien place, because they have burned incense in it to other gods whom neither they their fathers, nor the kings of Judah, have known, and have filled this place with the blood of the innocents. They have also built the high places of Baal, to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings to Baal, which I did not command or speak, nor did it come into my, my mind. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that this place shall no more be called Tophet, or the valley of the son of Hinnom but the valley of slaughter, verse 7. And I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place, and I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies and by the hands of those who seek their lives. Their corpses I will give as meat for the birds of the heaven and for the beasts of the earth. 
I will make this city desolate and a hissing. Everyone who passes by it will be astonished and hiss because of all its plagues. And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters, and everyone shall eat the flesh of his friend in the siege and in the desperation with which their enemies and those who seek their lives shall drive them to despair. Verse 10, Then you shall break the flask in the sight of the men who go with you, and say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Even so, I will break this people and this city as one breaks a potter's vessel, which cannot be made whole again, and they shall bury them in Tophet till there is no place to bury. Verse 12, Thus I will do to this place, says the Lord, and to this its inhabitants, and make this city like Tophet. And the houses of Jerusalem and the houses of the kings of Judah shall be defiled like the place of Tophet, because of all the houses on whose roofs they have burned incense to all the host of heaven, and poured out drink offerings to other gods. Verse 14, Then Jeremiah came from Tophet, where the Lord had sent him to prophesy. And he stood in the court of the Lord's house and said to all the people, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring on this city and on all her towns all the doom that I have pronounced against it, because they have stiffened their necks, necks that they might not hear my words. Chapter 20 Now Pashur, the son of Immer, the priest, who was also chief governor in the house of the Lord, heard that Jeremiah prophesied these things. Then Pashur struck Jeremiah the prophet and put him in stocks that were in the high gate of Benjamin, which was by the house of the Lord. And it happened on the next day that Pashur brought Jeremiah out of the stocks. Then Jeremiah said to him, The Lord has not called your name Pashur, but Mago Misabib. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will make you a terror to yourself and to all your friends, and they shall fall by the sword of their enemies, and your eyes shall see it. I will get all Ju give all Judah into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall carry them captive to Babylon and slay them with the sword. Verse 5, Moreover, I will deliver all the wealth of this city, all its produce, and all its precious things, all the treasures of the kings of Judah, I will give into the hand of, the in of their enemies, who will plunder them, seize them, and carry them to Babylon. And you, Pasher, and all who dwell in your house shall go into captivity. You shall go to Babylon, and there you shall die and be buried there, you and all your friends, to whom you have prophesied lies. Verse 7, O oh Lord, you induced me, and I was persuaded. You are stronger than I, and I have prevailed. I am in derision daily. Everyone mocks me. For when I spoke, I cried out, I shouted, violence and plunder, because the word of the Lord was made to me a reproach and a derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name. But his word was in my heart like a burning fire, shut up in my bones. I was weary of holding it back, and I could not. Verse 10, For I heard many mocking fears, many mocking fear on every side. Report, they say, and we will report it. All my acquaintances watch for my stumbly, saying, Perhaps he can be induced, then we will prevail against him, and we will take our revenge on him. Verse 11, but the Lord is with me as a mighty awesome one. Therefore my persecutors will stumble and will not prevail. They will be greatly ashamed for they will not prosper. Their everlasting confusion will never be forgotten. But O Lord of hosts, you who test the righteous and see the heart, mind and heart, let me see your vengeance on them. For I have pleaded my cause before you. Verse 13. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he has delivered the life of the poor from the hand of the evildoers. Cursed be the day in which I was born. Let the day be not be blessed in which my mother bore me. Let the man be cursed who brought news to my father, saying, A male child has been born to you, making him very glad. And let that man be like the cities which the Lord overthrew and did not relent. Let him hear the cry in the morning and the shouting at noon. Verse 17. Because he did not kill me from the womb, that my mother might have been my grave, and her womb always enlarged with me. Verse 18 and last. 
Why did I come forth from the womb to see labor and sorrow, that my days should be consumed with shame? And the word of the Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, is already blessed. And now the New Testament reading, which will be from the book of the second Thessalonians, the New Testament reading, beginning at verse 1. And it reads, Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God, our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is fitting, because your faith grows exceedingly, and the love of every one of you all abounds toward each other. So that we ourselves boast of your patience and faith in all our in all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure, which is manifest evidence of the righteous judgment of God that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you also suffer. Since it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you. Verse 7, and to give you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus is revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire taking vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ these shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power when he comes in that day to be glorified in his saints and to be admired among all those who believe because our testimony among you was believed Verse 11, therefore we also pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of his calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of his faith with power. Verse 12 and last, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you and you in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. And in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the word is already blessed. And as you have heard, I pray in Jesus Christ's mighty name that your faith has grown as your understanding. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen.